All right, today I'm gonna show you how I made this Wicked Fun page using Joy stencil cutouts, the gel press with the circles, and a magazine collage image. Okay, so today I'm gonna work on this little, um, just a quick project for an art page. I have this lady and I want her to be really, really safe because I adore her. So I used scrapbook.com back of the sticker paper and she has strapping tape on her so that she can't get hurt by any of the materials. So she's gonna stay exactly this way. There's not a way for her to really change colors. So I want to find a background from the backgrounds we made the other day that I wanna put her on. So I can take away the little ones. Okay. And I'm gonna use my um, Cricut Joy to print out a word, awkward, um, to go with her because this lady is kind of my uh, spirit animal. I don't know that I feel like she has enough contrast with this. Ooh, could be this one. Ooh. We have one more. Okay, so I think it's either going to be this one or this one. And I have to see what color. I almost feel like we do. We'll have to figure out what color we want to do the awkward in because I have a feeling once I start putting inks and stuff on this, this is going to get darker. But I like that she, I like the colors in this, that this is going to be, um, see, it's, it's, it's more monotone than this, which has like different things. It's also why I think I like this one, which is more monotone. Hmm. I wonder, let me see what color. Oh, I have a bunch of yellow inks that I could use. Okay, so we got it down to these ones. I have, no, I don't like that at all. Ooh. I don't know, I kind of love that. Okay, so what could we use? We could use white. Now we kind of, oh, we could use white. We have purples. And then I could outline her in white, like with a, oh, ooh, this is a tough one. Okay, I'm not gonna like any of those. Okay, so eventually we're gonna have to figure this out. So I kind of love that. I was trying to make you guys a video about how to do backgrounds. I don't like that now. Okay, I don't like this now. Whoa, oh, uh-oh, I kind of like that. No, I kind of almost don't like that one because it's just a tiny bit too small. And this is, oh, I'm gonna have to make another background on that one. Okay, so this is gonna be our gal. And we are gonna start by moving some uh, inks around on here, okay? So I'm gonna pick kind of the closest color this. I'm going to put little drops of ink around. I kind of want them to go along the edges of things. I want them to be in the middle of things. But I definitely want them creeping around the edges of these papers. It's seeping in. Got to get some water going, but, oh, that's good. Let's see. Oh, no, that was an edge of paper. There we go. All right. So let's squirt this and see what we think.
right. Okay. All right, I'm gonna let this dry for a wee minute and get us some more water. All right, and I almost think like since it's already dark, well, that's brown. I don't want, do I want brown? No, it's black. Okay, so we have brown, what's this color? Kind of a sepia, sepia. Maybe, it, oh, let's try sepia and see how we like it. I think sepia may be a good color for us because it's not black, right? And I'm using India inks, so I'm using sepia, Dr. Phil Martin, P.H. Martins. I always think Phil, but I don't think it's actually Phil. And this one is red violet. Okay, let's go up here with this. Let's go here with this, a little bit over here, a little bit over here. Oh, we gotta do something with this middle. Go down. Let's get some more red violet working in that middle. I kind of like that it's a it's a, a a kind of a crossy thing in the middle there. Okay, now let's do some squirty squirt. See if we can get this ink moving around. And India ink to me is magical, right? Because it is watery. Well, I wouldn't say it's water reactive. You can thin it out with water while it's wet. You can make it do its drippy, drippy thing that I love. I kind of want to get some over here to, to make this less, I'm gonna drip it underneath this paper. So this is open tissue paper. So that should, do, do, do get drippy well. Okay, I want a little bit in this corner. I'm semi trying to frame it without framing it, right? I want to have enough of it around. Then we have, oh, that's a good one right there. All right, let's let this run but I want it to have enough of a frame that you can tell kind of the outside from the inside. And I'm totally fine with that sepia and purple running. Let's see if we can get it to, to join. All right, we're gonna let this dry for a minute and see what kind of magic happens. I might do a little blotty blot. Let's do that. Because this is gonna take forever to dry if we don't. Okay, you wanna kiss it on another page? So that nice, Vicki Booten always says, instead of wiping it with paper towel, kiss it on another page, and then you're not wasting all of that lovely ink. Okay, all right. See if any of it went through. Teeny bit, not too much. I use pretty good paper. That's mixed media paper. Um, okay, so let's get our gal back. I feel like she's. I like I like how her foot goes in that circle. I would like. What do I want? I would like. I don't think I have any purple embossing. 
I feel like I want to do some kind of funky embossing. I have this shabby white stuff, which I don't know what that is, but I feel like I'd like to use it. It's a stamp pendus, shabby white embossing enamel. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna take this embossing pad because this is not my favorite embossing pad and I am going to just a little bit down, and I don't even know if this is gonna do anything. So it is not my favorite embossing pad because nothing hardly sticks to it. Let's see if that got anything on here for us. Oh, well, maybe it got some. <laughs> it's either sticking to that or it's sticking to my India ink, but I guess we'll take it. All right, we got, I feel like we have a lot of gold. All right, it's very glittery. Okay, let's put a little white in here. We have holographic. I have clear. Okay, I have some white. All right, let's, let's, is there a ton of this on there? Nope, okay. So let's do, some white in here too, because I want it to be white. Okay. With these big grains of embossing, you cannot emboss from the top. If I were to um, hit that with a ton of, uh, of heat embossing, it would just blow off, okay? So when you're using these kind of specialty weird ones, you have to go up from the bottom. So we're gonna do that. Okay. So this was maybe the derpiest embossing stuff I've ever used. Um, I did get most of it to melt. You saw some of it flying around. There's gold everywhere, but I love my girl so much, I'm not going to be crumpy about it, okay? So um, I can still tell there's a lot of loose materials on here, but that's fine. We'll maybe be able to get them in a little bit when we start using some glue. Okay, so we wanna make sure this is dry because I'm getting ready to, um, and I wanna try to get as much of the loose stuff off of here because I want her to to affix. All right. So while we're waiting for this to dry, um, I don't know what we're going to do about this. I'm going to ignore it for just a minute, right? I can only do one thing at a time. All right. So I'm going to plug in my joy. I'm going to move some stuff around and I will be back in a second. What we're gonna do now is I have this, um, I found I have gold Smart Vinyl from Cricut. Um, I must have had a premonition. All right, so I think I'm over the glitter explosion. I'm gonna use my Cricut tool. It's turned on, all you have to do is plug it in. This is a joy. And we're gonna try using this uh, gold adhesive vinyl, which is fun. I didn't know I had gold. I went and checked my stash, and since we now have the glitterati thing going on, I'm gonna use this. And I went into my Cricut Design Space earlier. Categories, there we go. My projects in the cloud. And there's awkward. Okay. So we're gonna, we're, I have this set up. We're gonna go to make it without mat. Mat one of one. Material length, we're gonna say continue, select an accessory. Okay, we have smart vinyl permanent. Okay, load tools and material. So you, sometimes you have to slide it back a second. There we go. And you don't have to cut it off or anything, it just does its little thing. Okay. And then we're gonna say 
Cut. Now, if you don't have a Cricut cutting machine, what can you do? What would I do? What I would do is I would go on my computer. I would make letters in Word that were the right shape. I would then go and cut them out of a piece of, like use them as a stencil, and I would cut them out of a piece of gold cardstock. So you don't have to have the fancy joy machine to do this. Okay, and then you have to unload your materials. Okie dokie. So I am going to cut this off here, put the rest in my container. Now, if you were going to be using this, you know, um, on a t-shirt or you had it all laid out correctly, you would want to use transfer tape, but I am not doing that. I'm just, I want the world words to be all higgledy-piggledy anyway. So you know how you turn it off? You unplug it, you put it up here. This is why I love the joy thing because that is how much time it takes me to do. And I don't know if you can see, but all the letters are cut out. So now, we have this. Obviously, we're going to have to try to get it straightened out at least a little bit, right? Okay, this is kind of fun. I don't usually use gold. Okay, where's our gal? Back. There she is. Ooh, see, she's got some white to go against. Her head's still there. We kind of lost our circle. I love this. Okay. I feel like... I like the background. I think we got something going on there. Um, I'm going to put our word down, but I feel like I need some, some lines, some color blocks. I think I'm going to do a wee bit of, look, I'm covered in glitter. I think I'm going to do a wee bit of gel press circles for this one because I've been wanting to do a gel press circle video. Um, so let's do that. I'm going to pause you. I'm going to make that video. I'm going to come back. We're going to have gel press circles. Okay, it's been a minute since I was uh, doing stuff with you. I had a visitor in my craft room. My daughter, my middle girl, wanted to do some crafting with me. So, you guys, <laughs> you're a far distant second to my Dizzy. Okay, so what we're doing now is we made some circles. I made these circles. Um, so, I didn't really like the way this... Uh, this color was blending with it, but I do like these ones, so we can try these ones. I used two different colors there, so we may use one of those. I love this one. I'll probably use that one. And then I have some plainer ones, and then some almost white ones, and those ones. So I have a bunch of circles that I really, really like. And then Des made some really cool backgrounds. Look at that. So that is going to be, I think I'm going to have, because I always like to have lines and things. I think we're gonna make a line with that, like a little frame. So we're gonna use her stuff to make a frame for this. And I want the top of the line to be really weird, you know, kind of jaggedy, but I want that bottom of the line to be really straight. So I'm gonna to try to tear slightly straight here. I don't care if it goes up and down a little bit, but I want the semblance of a line. And it's either gonna be for her to stand on, or it's gonna be, because we have this really cool circle there, so I think it may be above where she's standing. I like kind of how her, well, she doesn't really go into the circle. Where'd she go? Where's, uh, where's our gal? Okay. Let's think about this. All right. So I like her head being right up in there. Yeah, I think I'm going to give her some place to stand. And then I'm going to do some circle circles over here and kind of off the side here. Um, and maybe, maybe up in here. So let's find one for up in there under, 
beneath my um, buzzard. All right, I think I want a one that has lots of open space. So it's more white. It'll be more white than, than purpley. I found some really cool tools that I'm gonna be showing you guys. And they're, they're not all mixed media tools. All right, so we're gonna put this circle up here like that. I almost feel like I need a circle for her then. Or do I put them both in the circle? Oh, I think I have a circle for him and then kind of a darker circle for her. What do we think? I like that, like where she is though. What can we do? We could make our circle smaller. Let's try that. And don't worry, I mean, it won't be this white. You'll definitely see a bunch of that background behind it. Okay. All right, that's much more the size I was thinking. So he's almost like he's on the moon, I like it. Okay, so we have him, we have her. I love this lusciousness, but I want some stuff to go over here. So I need a circle right there. Okay, I'm gonna use this one, which is a fish scale circle. gonna go right there. I need at least two more. I love that one. So maybe we do that one over here. Off the back. Let's go with this, we're gonna stick them down. Then I will decide. And this will kind of dissolve. You won't, it won't be as white as this. It'll be white, but you'll be able to see a lot more of it through there once it's dry. Okay, we're gonna do this one. And I like where it is, so I'm gonna kind of hold it down for a second. The other nice thing about this is it's gonna give it a smoother surface for her to stick to, right? That, uh, that crazy embossing powder that we used. That was nuts. I like it. That seems a little weird. Okay. All right, and then we're gonna do this one kind of over here. I kind of want it to come off the R in the awkward. And I want my fish scales to point up. Okay. All right. These are also going to give me places to journal, right? Because this is actually a page for me. All right. So we want her here. So we want her foot thingy to go here. And again, I'm holding this so I can get it back where I wanted it. All right, 
so now she has a place to stand. All right, I'm hating how normal that looks. So I'm gonna grab a piece of Desi stuff. Oh, here's some more Desi stuff. I like this little darker bit here. And we're going to get us some edge papers, right? This is, this is way too, normal. Okay, that's good. Um, I like how the ink got on the awkward. Okay, we need a little something on this K. Let's grab a piece of grunge. Desi's really bold with her art, so she tries lots of things. I tend to, you know, like everybody, get in a little rut. And she will just try anything, so she comes up with some really cool different things that you wouldn't normally expect. Okay, a little grunge there. Let's get her a little bit more grunge. Up on the A. And I'm just trying to break this up a little bit. I don't want those vinyl letters to feel so um, so apart. Hooking those two things together by hooking them together. Um, okay, I need a little piece coming off there. Maybe that goes all the way off. Ooh, that's good. I hooked the K and the W together. Can I get that to tear? Yep, there we go. All right, what do we got? We got this W that's kind of normal. Okay, this stuff down here needs some help. And once you see it kind of on the other places, then you start to go, oh, I see. It's weird when it's just sitting there rather than being hooked together to anything or going to the edge or... So we got this guy coming over here. He's going out to the edge. That looks so much better. Okay, okay. Let's see what's going on here. Um, okay, I'm good with this. So the next thing I'm gonna do is, you don't get to do this with me, I am going to um, put her down over here. She's gonna be just like she is. I'm gonna stick her down and then I am going to do my doodling and my mixed media stuff and my art journaling and then I will come back and I will show you the final girl. I don't often show you this, but I thought since I was sitting down to do it tonight, I would show you. I'm going to outline my gal with some India ink. And just to, to blur this line, oops. Let's get some light on here so you can see it just to kind of blur this line between my project and what's going on behind it. And I don't like that brush. It's not stiff enough. I need a little bit of a stiffer brush because I like to keep it sort of close to the edge. And it bleeds out a little bit. And sometimes I can kind of go underneath it. I don't know if this is gonna hold. I used that um, 
scrapbook.com backing. I mean, it's a lot to ask, right? Like I have, <laughs> I have all kinds of layers. I have all kinds of stuff. If it holds, I mean, I'll be super impressed. And if it doesn't hold, I'll just add glue. I mean, this is not a, a make or break for me. I'm trying to get, like I said, you won't be able to, to hurt her. I won't be able to hurt her because she is under strapping tape. But I just want to blur that edge a little bit. I don't want it to be such a harsh transition. And it really, you'll see it around the awkward and you'll see it around their heads where it is the most obvious. And I used to do this with a pencil. So you can buy a pencil from, let me think, where can you buy the pencil from? Stabilo. So there's a Stabilo pencil that will blur out this. And it's nice, and it's a lot easier than this because the ink dries out and it's kind of a pain in the rear. Um, but the problem is the Stabilo pencil keeps moving. So if you go over it and then you do anything else, it will move again, right? So if you come in and you're doing any other layers, it's gonna um, to blur. And I like all my layers to be permanent. And some people like that, and some people like when the layers will blur. And whichever kind of people you are, you're fine. Okay. And honestly, I find this to go faster than doing the Stabilo because I had to do the pen, pencil, and then I had to um, wet it and go around again, where with this, I only go around once. But it is um, more wasteful because my... my uh, India ink will dry out on each layer. And then I kind of waste a little bit of ink. And I'm fine with that because I like the look of it. I'm just going for the look. And this is vinyl, Cricut vinyl, which appears to be holding. Now it's not on top of that. Um, I had a feeling it would hold okay because it's not on top of all that chunky, chunky embossing right? It's got a lot less to deal with. Um, but I have some pretty strong glues, so if I have to, I can come back in here and glue her down or staple her down or I can get her stuck on there if I need to be. I figured we'd spend just a couple minutes tonight doing this. So I'm going to go back and do a little journaling and then I can finish her up for you tomorrow and get her out. I'm doing a video a day for a year, business days, right? Um, so I already have my one done for tomorrow. All done in the bag, finished, edited. But I don't have, I need two more for the rest of this week. So I figure she can be one and we'll do another fun one. Doing art like this isn't, some of them are harder. When I do the how to's, I have more editing and all of that when I'm just making a piece of art for you. And this is kind of just what I do anyways, right? So, I'm going to let you stay till I finish, but I don't know if I have any uh, 
words of wisdom about painting around your letters. In the comments, let me know uh, what you like to use or if you use anything. I know if you watch a gal named Lori Marie Jenkins, who is who I watched a lot, and I'll put a link to her down here in the comments or in the description. She is so cute. She always says, I'm a mixed media artist from Mission Vallejo, California. That's her, her line. And she does the, the Stabilo. She's the one that turned me on to that way to do it. And she spits on hers which tends to freak people out. I just used a water brush. Um, but if you like mixed media and you have not checked out Lori Marie Jenkins, L-O-R-R-I-E, I believe. Um, her channel is awesome. She does way more intense things than I do. So that's it for me tonight. Okay, here she is, she's all done. I did some uh, regular journaling, art journaling on the left-hand side, and then some scripty journaling around the circles and underneath the arm holding the buzzard. And this is, this is a really personal page for me. I feel like uh, that if I could just find a buzzard to carry around, everything would be okay, but hopefully you love it. Tara Jacobson, Artsy Fartsy Life.